There is nothing quite as British as the traditional country pub. And like most counties, the villages of Wiltshire are full of them. It was the Romans who introduced the idea of a pub sign to Britain. And these colourful and descriptive works of art were often used as an early form of marketing. Today, the art of traditional sign making is a dwindling one. So I've come to a sign writing workshop at a brewery in Devizes to meet pictorial artist Dave Young. He's been painting pub and inn signs for over 20 years and has agreed to take me through the history of the pub sign and also give me an insight to his unique craft. Hi, Dave. Hi, Nikki. Good to meet you. Welcome to the sign shop. Well, thank you. I mean, you're calling it a sign shop, but for me, as I walk through the door, in a way, it's like coming to a mini art gallery. As you drive along country roads and in towns and villages throughout the UK, we see these signs, and in a way, would it be fair to say we take them for granted, but how did it all start? It's a tradition that the British took on, because obviously a lot of the population were illiterate in those days, um, couldn't read or write, so a visual image, you know, basically we sell beer, we give accommodation, was obviously very useful to the population of the time. Was ever there a law passed that you had to have a sign on a public house? I think it was 1393, King Richard II um, brought in an act whereby every inn had to uh, display a sign outside. I think it was mainly for tax purposes, really. <laughs> it is quintessentially British, isn't it? That's right, yeah. It is quite a unique, uh, unique thing to Britain. Well, I've got a wonderful opportunity of getting up close and personal with some of your artwork. Can I have a bit of a tour? Yep, no problem. Okay. Pubs have a vast range of names, and their origins are influenced by many different themes, including myths, legends, local trades, politics and religion, which are also featured in the imagery of each sign. So they have so many different names and titles of pubs and inns. Quite a few I recognise, but what's the most popular in the UK? I think the Red Lion is the most popular, actually. James I of England, who was James VI of Scotland, when he uh, acceded to the throne, um, he basically wanted the population to know he was the boss. So all the um, establishments, and mainly the pubs, had to show a sign of allegiance to him, and that, and that was the Red Lion. The one behind us, the Trouble House, I get that, but I'm not quite sure what else is going on. Perhaps you can explain. Well, as you can see, Nicky, this, this sign depicts quite a lot of history, really. Um, you had a skirmish in the Civil War, between the, the Cavaliers and the Roundheads. One of the landlords drowned, another landlord hung himself, and uh, a few years later, the, there was a Luddite rebellion outside the premises. Uh, so a real snapshot of the history of the pub and what it's seen over the years. Well, that's right, yeah. Any chance you've got a sign which is work in progress that I could have yeah, a go at? certainly have. Would you like to come this way? Thank you. The signs are made from external marine ply using durable exterior grade oil paints. They have a shelf life of around 10 to 12 years before they need to be replaced or restored. And of course, the artwork has to be duplicated perfectly onto both sides. Now, this sign looks far more imposing, more regal, if you like. This is beautiful, but this isn't the only thing that you're working on at the moment, is it? No, that's right, Nikki. Um, at the moment, I'm working on a sign uh... The Chelsea Flower Show. Oh, now the famous RHS. Um, this is basically a, a mock-up sign. And what's the whole idea behind it? I think it's, it's mainly like a play on words, but it's, it's, it's um, obviously the hop cycle, which is to do with the, the brewing process, and I think they're having a garden there with various different hops that they're, that they're growing. So, what part can I have a go at? Let me have a little go at the eyes, perhaps. And... Yeah? Excellent. Right, well, I'd better take my coat off. Will you mix the paints? There are over 50,000 pubs in the UK, and the modern tradition is to replace the old classics with more quirky and striking titles, such as the Goat and Tricycle or the Hairy Lemon. So this is keeping your hands steady. That's right, yes. Yeah, uh... I must admit, I'll be feeling the pressure, but I have to do my bit as well. <laughs> so, after a quick tutorial from the expert, it's my turn. And how long would it take in total? Um, around about two weeks, really, all together. And do you ever have a preferred side? Um, I do usually at the end of it. I'll, you know, one I'll prefer and one I'll take photographs of, but yeah. uh, they are usually pretty identical, really. For a novice, I like to think I'm doing OK. Yeah, that looks fine, doesn't it? That's not too bad. Now, yours is sort of... Mine's round and yours is more yeah, oval. I think, I think the bunny looks like he's... Uh, 
and sampling the brood. <laughs> if you need an apprentice, you know where I am. Start Monday morning. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much. Cheers.